Ministers of State, Members of Parliament, Nanano, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Friends of the Media, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. It is a delight and heartwarming to be present at this auspicious occasion where Ghana is again counting the gains made in the aviation industry with the commissioning of this ultra modern magnificent terminal building and air traffic management system, including a secondary surveillance radar system. As the regulator of the aviation industry and an air traffic service provider, we have been working together with the airport operator, Ghana Airport Company Limited, to bring this magnificent edifice into fusion. The transformation of Kumasi Airport into Kaka the first international airport in Kumasi represents more than just bricks and mortar. It embodies the spirit of innovation, excellence, and collaboration that defines the Ghanaian people. Through meticulous planning, hard work, and dedication, we've turned the vision into reality. And today, we bring the fruits of our labor. The decision I made to name Kumasi International Airport after the 14th and Santana was not a difficult one to make. All followers and lovers of history will agree with me that Otoo Fajiman Prempe the first played a pivotal role in the consolidation of the Ashanti Kingdom during his reign in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. During his reign, he faced significant challenges, including colonial encroachment and internal strife. 
and his leadership and vision were instrumental in shaping the destiny of the Ashanti people. One of Utu Fuajim and Prentice's most notable achievements was his efforts to modernize and centralize the administration of the Ashanti kingdom. He introduced reforms to the traditional governing structures, establishing a more centralized system of authority, communities and territories under Ashanti rule and influence. Overall, the two Fuajim and Prentice's the first leadership during a tumultuous period in Ashanti history helped to reinforce the foundations of the resilience and endurance of the Ashanti kingdom. It also marked a period of Ashanti resistance led by him and that most redoubtable of all women, the celebrated Edusa Hima, Yasantua, the British colonial annexation of Ashanti. Rising tensions between the Ashantis and the British culminated in the Sangrenti War, which was won by the British and led to two Fuajim and Prentice arrest and subsequent exile. Before his forced exile to Suenia, the Ford Company Limited is to ensure that the premises are preserved as a historic site. Prentice the first is revered as a symbol of Ashanti pride, independence, and sovereignty. And today, through this ceremony, we are paying tribute to his legacy. <laughs> Prime Minister, the two for war, Nanano, Ashanti Resort Minister, Minister for Transport, ladies and gentlemen, barely a year ago, the Vice President, Haji Dr. Mahamadou Baumia, the NPP's excellent presidential candidate, <laughs> was in Tamale to inaugurate the Tam Tamale International Airport, subsequently named the Yakubu Tali International Airport Tamale, making a new era of connectivity, growth, and progress in the northern part of the country. That event demonstrated our determination to creating a gateway that will act as a catalyst for economic development, strengthen international relationships, and serve as a beacon of hope and prosperity. This occasion is for a similar purpose, to commission a project that is not only critical for government, but also very dear to the people of the Ashanti region. You may recall that I was here at this same venue nearly six years ago in June 2018 to cut soil for the commencement of And I invite the chief imam, Sheikh Abdul Mumin Harun, to give us a closing prayer.